All right, so we're making the cereal box. The dimensions are 12, seven into, if we look at this, 12, seven, two. So let's go in here, let's click on a box. Instead of making it 12, seven, two, I'm just gonna go right here. Well, I could do that too. I can go right here and say 12, seven, and two. Oh, actually that does work out to be a little bit more normal, but we're gonna make ours larger. So we're just gonna click on T. As long as the dimensions are right, that's all we really care about. So we can always scale it up or down later. Cool, we have this, all right? So let's press C to make it editable so we can touch all the faces and it's ready to be split down into its 2D representation. So now, Let's go over here to BP UV edit. Okay, the screen stayed, so I'm not have to do now. All right, cool. So right now, this is our uh, UV screen. So this is what our object is split down into our 2D representation. What it did is it took this space right here and it placed it in this space. Um, Cause we want everything to be within this square right here. So it put it, this face and stretched it and put it into this space right here. But it also took this top face right here and it put it into this face. See if I move this right here, I have this, and I have this face right here. I'm just click, left clicking. So it's like, I have all these faces that are overlapped right here. What I wanna do is I want to um, see all the faces. So what I can do is I can uh, click right here and I can do control A, which give, selects all the faces or I can just go over here to my rectangle selection and select all my faces. I go down here to automatic UV, I click on cubic and I click on apply. And now what happened is, is it split this down into uh, what separated the faces and laid them out in this space. So if I press the letter nine, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the number nine and click on this. If I click here, what I have is this um, face. It's laid it out for me perfectly. Now, if I click right here, it's this opposite back face. If I click right here, it's this top part. If I click right here, it's this bottom part. This is the right side and this is the left side. Cool. So now I can um, apply a texture onto this. Before I do that, I have to make sure that uh, I can save this. So first I have to go to file. I go to new texture. And right here, I just put 5,000 by 5,000. Give this a little green color and click on okay. And then I'll go to UV mesh and I will click on, no, I'm sorry. I'll go to layer and I'll click on create UV mesh layer, all right? So what that did is that just basically set this color on the background. And when I clicked on UV mesh layer, it made these lines right here. And this will be so we can see this correctly in Photoshop. So now I'll go to file and I'll go to save texture as, I can keep it on TIFF. And what I'll do is I'll go to um, my desktop and it's should I do yeah I'll just do image processing right and then I'll go over here and I'll say Serial box uh, A, I'll just do something like that. Press save, right? So now, I have serial box A, right? Well, let me go to my desktop. Um,
Okay, so I'm right here, serial box A. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to open with, and I'm gonna go to Adobe Photoshop. But also while that's going on, this is what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to get myself a cereal box texture. Cereal box texture, go to images, and I will get, what? Okay. Um, No, it's kind of fuzzy. I'm gonna get something that looks kind of good. Yeah. And also one thing when you're searching for images, you can go over to this filter right here and then go to image size and go to like extra large. And that should help you get some nice uh, high resolution. All right, I like this one, special K. All right. So save this. Cool. All right. So right now it's opened in Photoshop. Now I want to bring in that image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my folder right here. So I have my image in another folder, All right? So right here, this is my um, my cereal box, All right? So I'm just gonna take this and drag it in. And now it's right here. Cool, All right? So I have this UV mesh layer. If you click on it, this shows where the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? the UVs are laid out in cinema. We have this. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enlarge this. So I'll just go over here to this move tool. I'll hold down, well, I don't need to hold down shift. I just need to pull and double click. And I have this now, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, lay this out now. So I'll go get this tool right here, this marquee box tool, and I'll select this face. And then I'll right click and I'll go to uh, layer via copy, right? And then I'll hide this right here, right? So this is the, the picture that we're getting everything from. And then this is the copy that it did right here. And if I want to, for organization's sake, I can say like front, if I want it to, right? And then I can go over here and take this move tool and move it and say, all right, I'm gonna push this on the front and I'll just take these handles on the side and I'll just drag these out. And it's a little off, who knows why. But in situations like this, we're gonna cheat. Yeah, I said it, All right? So I'm gonna hold down shift and just drag this and cover this whole face. What matters is, is that you cover the whole face, not leave any cover. Because if you do that, you're gonna see um, that in Cinema 4D. So I did that, I'll double click. Now I sealed the deal, now it's right there, right? So let me go back now to my original. I'll hide this new one. And I'll say, let me get the uh, the back, right? So I'll just go here, select it all, right click, layer via copy, hide the original, take this, put it right here, scale it up, scale it up. See it's covering that, hold down shift, so I can just pull one of these points. That's all shift does. Shift just allows you to manipulate it and change the scale. So I double click to seal the deal. It's good, all right? I can name that back. And go over here again. Now let's cut the sides. So I'll cut this right here. Right click and I'll go to Layer via copy. Now, if just for speed's sake, let's just do the other one right now. All right, right click, layer via copy. 
Oh no, see, I was on the wrong layer. I wasn't on the base layer. So I click right here, layer view copy. So look, I just sped myself up, right? I just did side B. So I'll hide the original. So look, I have two sides. I'll just go over here to my move tool, go to a side, pull this right here. Ah, all right. Oh, I'm doing control Z. That's how I'm controlling these. So pull this. If I don't want to see that, I can just hide it. And oh no. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Uh so let me. Ah. Okay, I didn't think it was going to allow me to go. But it allowed me. All right, so I got this right here. Uh, hide this, this, pull this. And you can always move these windows if you need to. All right, and so we have the last ones, which were the bottom and the top. So I'll go get this top right here, right click. Oh, remember you have to be in the, the source layer. And I'll just do this one real fast. Ah, messed up again. Let me hide this one. So that looks like a top to me. And so that means this one's bottom. All right? So I'll take this one right here, click this. Let's move here. Also, if we do this, we can change it if we need to. But if we go to Cinema 4D right now, and I click right there, now I know that this is the top piece, All right? So that's good for us to know. We'll go back here. And so that's the top piece. All right, I set it up right. First time, I'll just stretch it out. So I try to uniformly scale it as much as I can. Then if I have to cheat, I have to, I don't want to. But sometimes you have to. Uh, now we'll go to bottom. And remember, I'm just pulling without shift. But then when I have to stretch it, I have to, so shift it stretches. Cool, right? So I have this right here. If we go ahead and highlight all these, I'm gonna left click and highlight everything. And look, you see what we have? And we have this background right here. And uh, yeah, this is our like source. Here's a UV mesh layer. So these two don't need necessarily need to be on. All we really need to do is have these covering up. I mean, it could be on, but... You know, let's save it with it on, just see. So I'll go to File, Save As, right? And let's go to Serial Box A, Cinnamon Box. I mean, I said Cinnamon Box. Um, let me do that again. So File, Save As, and I'll make it instead of that, I'll make it a JPEG, right? So let's go to JPEG instead. So serial box A, Cinema 40, save. Okay. Cool. So now let's go back to Cinema 4D. And let's go back into our startup. And we're back here now, right? So here's where it all comes together. I'm gonna double click down here, or I can right click. Yeah, it's double click, right? We have a material, double click on it, and I'll name it Serial. Serial box, and I'll go to color. And in color, right here where the three dots are, that always means a file. 
So I'll double click. So I'll click on this. Now let me get a file. We'll get let me get the file. So so my desktop, my image processing. Desktop image processing, serial box A, JPEG. Because this is what we saved out of Photoshop. So double click on this. Uh, this image is not in the project search path. Uh, let's just go no. So we have color right here. So we have this uh, texture. So to apply this texture, what we need to do is we can, there's two ways to do it. I can select this object right here, or I can select the whole object right there. And then I can right click on this and I can go to apply and I'll put it on, or I can take it and I can drag it on, or I can take it and I can drag the texture and put it on right here. All right, so now we have our serial box. But, 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 it's looking fuzzy, right? It's looking whack. It's look not looking uh, crisp. And that's what we deserve. So to get what we deserve, we go over here to viewport and texture preview size, 2048. Now it's crisp. And that's how you apply a serial, I mean, um, apply a texture to an object.